Right, so here we are in the Hitbox Downloads page and what we have here is that um, the latest firmware update that they have. Now, this is still not the latest update and I will explain why later in the video. Uh, they have not updated yet, but I will include the link on the description so you will be able to see it. When it is able to download, all you have to do is to click this and it will download here. And then, yeah, you will be able to follow the instructions they have uh, when you unzip it. And you will be able to do it easily. Now, if we go to the brook, because I talk later on about as well for the brook, uh, adapters. In case that you have upgraded your uh, hitbox and you have put inside either any of these, the PS4 plus audio or the universal fighting board, maybe the wireless as well, I'm not sure if it's compatible, but if you use any except of this one, and I will try to attempt to zoom, because this is the original as I explained in the video later, this is the original that the uh, hitbox has inside. And this one is soldered to the system in a way that is not able to really modify it farther without using solder. And if you're not familiar with soldering, I, I don't think this is the best project to start with. Uh, now, we have PS4 Plus. This is what I have in my hitbox. It is compatible with everything except Xbox and the USB, the uh, USB that if you have it inside, either either one of these three, you will be able to just download the manual from here if you want to see instructions, and then download for PC or Macintosh to download the drivers. Uh, all you will have to do is after that you will have to press the uh, PS button and the Share button together when you plug in the controller and you have opened the application and you will be able to do the update. So back to the video. Hello everyone, this is Maro. I'm making this video because one of my viewers on the last video asked me how to update my hitbox uh, to the new SOCD changes from Capcom. Uh, first of all, we have to make some things clear. Hitbox is using a little bit of more complex method for the SOCD clearance than what they normally Brook is doing with their boards. Um, they're using the square PS3 to PS4 fighting board. That alone does not have SOCD clearance. I'm not aware of the specific reason why Hitbox chose to use the PS4 to PS3 uh, fighting board uh, and not the plus which has the built-in SOCD. Many would argue it was the cost because the square one is just way cheaper and um, there is also the chance that they wanted to do it because they wanted to be the charge of uh, what the SOCD, the hitbox as a device, would have. Um, this happens because the square brook fighting board is soldered and plugged into the hitbox harness. The earlier model uh, appears to be probably using a custom harness and um, the SOCD clearance, but it's kind of modeled after the brook fighting board plus. And so according to their website, it is not compatible with the latest updates that they have done there. I will leave a link in the description. The latest model appears to be using a custom harness, but it is able to get the updates. At this moment, uh, Brook, uh, in all their boards, even the square one, has already released the drivers, uh, which I will have a link in the description on how to do that. And uh, when I asked also, because I wanted to I also wanted to approach Hitbox and see what could be the reason that they were having um, this kind of delay because they're using the same product as uh, Brook if they needed help or if possibly they could 
uh, do it themselves, they're engineers. But from what it appears to be is that most of the stuff from Hitbox were over to Evo Japan to showcase their product. And that's most likely the reason that they have been no updates since um, about the software update of the Hitbox to be able to use the tournament mode and whatnot. If you are interested in what options you have right now to mod your Hitbox and change some things inside it to make it not rely on specifically Hitbox for updates and be more about Brook directly, which is mostly Brook what is using inside, please let me know in the comments and I will be able to make a video specifically for that. Uh, because if you have, like for example, on my hitbox, for example, on my hitbox, this one here, I am using the PS4 Audio Plus board, which makes the hitbox compatible with PS4, PS3, Switch, and PC. The only thing that is not supported like the UFB is the Xbox. So if I wanted to have an Xbox support, I will also get, uh, I, I will try to get the UFB if I wanted to have a, a console support for everything. But um, in this specific situation, there is also a lot of other things you can do. You can change what it has inside the hitbox. Uh, you can just unplug the hitbox harness and do everything directly on the board although with the hardware specifically the square uh, the square adapter from brook has you would have to be an advanced user and knowing how to solder in order to do any of this so i wouldn't suggest specifically to keep that board it's gonna be quite outdated already um, I would suggest upgrade to UFB or PS4 Plus, whichever you prefer. And of course, with PS5 being out, you can totally get the UP5 from Brook and able to have uh, native support with uh, PS5, which is what I have done, as you could see on the previous video that I have. And I was able to use the Brook update on this hitbox um that was that is inside using both the harness of the uh, of the uh hitbox and also it is using the ps4 plus audio adapter inside from brook and yeah the up5 as well connected to the ps4 plus and it's working perfectly thank you for watching and like if you found the video helpful subscribe if you enjoyed it have a great day